Hi everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets and today I just wanted to share a few tips for using the Lightroom brushes in the Illuminate collection. And I've covered a little bit about using the presets, which I also love, but today I wanted to share a little bit about the brushes. So the purpose of the brushes is to give you just even a little bit more freedom than the presets. And they allow you to add these custom flare or sun glow effects to your image wherever you want. So I'm going to show you how I've used these with a couple of images today. And we're going to start with this image right here. I, I really like all the pink in this image. So we're going to add a little bit of a pink sun glow. We're going to use the pink cream sun glow. And in order to do this, I'm going to make my brush really large. You can see here how large we are. I'm going to come over here and set my feather to 100% and my flow to 100%. And you can see now it's just a ginormous brush. <laughs> so I'm going to come up over here and I'm going to set even my pin a little bit off the image if I can. And I'm just going to click once. And you can see what that does. That adds a little bit of a glow effect here, but it's really subtle. So I'm actually going to make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to click new and I'm going to add it one more time like that. And you can see that just two clicks, we've got a pretty sun glow effect that's got that pretty pink tone that really enhances and, and kind of brings together all the pinks in this image. And I really like that A couple of clicks and I was able to add it exactly where I wanted it, which is super nice. So now I want to show you something completely different. So I've got this image over here. I really think this image is pretty. I like the light in this image. And these Illuminate pre presets are so perfect for enhancing light even more in your image. So let's, we're going to start by adding one of the presets. And I want to add this Compound Flare Right. I'm going to click on this. The only thing I don't love about this is that it's obviously cutting through her face, so we're going to we're going to adjust this by clicking on the radial filter tool. And this little ring right here is a combination of about four different radial filters. So we're going to have to move them all. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to move it so that the ring will be just more around her body. And I'm going to have to do this for each of the filters and I'm just pulling each of the dots up so they're almost, they're just almost stacked right on top of each other as close as I can possibly get them. Uh, let's see, yep. And last one right here. Perfect. So now if I come down here and click done, you can see that the ring is around her body instead of cutting over her face. So the last thing that I wanted to do was to use the brushes. And what I really like about this image is all these pretty spots of bokeh that are here in the background. So basically the light is coming down and hitting the grass and those bright spots of grass are reflecting into the lens and the lens is creating this really pretty bokeh. And I just want to create a little bit more of that. So I'm going to start up here with the clean linen brush. I am going to change my brush size, so I'm going to bring the feather down to, I don't know, somewhere in this range. It really kind of depends. Maybe around 15. Let's start there. And then I'm just going to drop the flow to around 80 to begin with. And you'll see now what my brush looks like. I know I have a more hard edge to my brush. So I am going to make my brush size about the same size as that bokeh point right there. And I'm just going to start clicking all over my image randomly. And when I did this, I'll show you the finished um, product because I'm not going to sit here and make you, you watch me add 100 points of bokeh, but that's probably at least what I did, maybe even more. And I just clicked on this, mainly in this area, kind of right behind her head where the, the bokeh is already really pretty. I just added even more. You can change your brush and add some different sizes. So I added a few different sizes when I did this. And maybe add some bigger ones over here. Maybe come back and do some more small ones because you see how there's some really pretty small ones up here in the trees. And I, I'm fine overlapping them. It's That's perfectly fine to me. I think that even looks a little bit more natural. 
And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do, I'm going to change the flow. So I'm going to make the flow a little bit more intense. So they'll be a little bit brighter. We'll come down here around 90. I've got that 92. That should be fine. Just add a bunch more bokeh points. In my other ones, I did some big, I did some small, I overlapped some places. I mean, naturally, this one occurred right here. Naturally, it's three right in a row. So really, it can be whatever. And then I did some more at a higher, maybe a 97. And that will look a little bit more like these natural ones, the ones that occurred naturally. They'll be about as bright as that. So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit done here. And I just wanna show you my before and after so that you don't have to watch me do three million of these. This was the one that I created where I added all of those points. You can see I've added some big ones, some small ones, a whole bunch. I can show you the before and after make it a little bit bigger even. And you can see the difference. These really pretty points of bokeh behind her just add a really interesting, neat effect to this image that I really love. So hopefully this gives you some ideas about how you can use these brushes to really enhance your images and give them that little extra effect and really enhance the light that is already there. Enjoy your day. Thank you.